and I understand these. Oh, hi, Alan. They either going to, if you said, well, mine tend to get slower, I said, that's not good. It needs to get faster and faster. I said, well, like with a car, I'm the type that keeps it at least only half of what the speedometer goes. Then I'd say this training isn't for you. <laughs> you're, you're you are doing that as the handler. Not That speed is going to get away from you at some point, and you're going to be at a loss. I'm going to conjure up the, the dog with the pager. I didn't even hit it yet. Making everything very small. If it's doing good, this is the perfect channel for you. This is what I tell people. Listen, cancel Animal Planet. This is all free for now anyway. Um, if the dog is, you know, it's like when you get to Disneyland. Come on, let's hurry and get to the Harry Potter thing. If you're my friend Tara, you know, you're not. All right, well, we'll meander over there. Meander over there. These people ran there and waited in line for 12 hours or some shit to get on this stupid thing. So you're not, a, if, if the thing does, if, if it's, this is very boring, and then it suddenly sees a squirrel and is in heightened reality. I'm in trouble. So I already have that base behavior. If you said now what? Well, now I can add the keys. Annie, be, be so careful, Annie. Right, he goes around. Oh, Annie, not like that, Annie. You're like you're playing the piano. <laughs> So if I didn't have the behavior without the keys, I, I don't have it with the keys. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to tell people. The reason that worked out is because I just piggybacked the key behavior, which was initially just, I can show you the very first day that I started him on this. I used the cover of a microphone. One of the, one of my things that I had purchased and didn't know how to use or some shit. It didn't work with what I had or whatever. But all I did, he picked it up the very, very first time. I had it in my hand like this. I went like that. And he, oops. He ran off with it or something. But he immediately grabbed it. So I just shaped it into that. If you said if you wanted to play tug and all that. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, he would do all that, I'm sure. Oh, my gosh, she's just so in such a hurry. She just don't want anything to be lost, Hanny. So here's this backpack is so cute too, am I wrong? He just thinks it's his little harness. Oh, I can put all your stuff in your hand. Well, Hanny, you can carry all the training gear. You know, you know, I mean, you've seen dogs, you've seen these videos where they have these kids reading to dogs. And it is the micro expressions in your face that they're looking for. If you said, I don't have any micro expressions in my face, they're probably not going to look at you. <laughs> they're probably not going to look at you. You know, kids laugh. You've seen many, many dogs chasing after giggling kids and everything else. You know, if, if anybody, if you want a trade secret, if you want a dog to do something, laugh when they do it, they'll repeat the behavior. Anyway, and I just shaped all of this to put it in together to one little small drill. If you said, what would have been the wrong way to do it? Try to say, get the keys, carry the keys, go over the, this with the keys, come back over here, give me the keys. None of that. The, the baseline behavior is the going and wherever I'm going and all this engagement thing. The piggyback behavior is the carrying the keys. And he's a greedy, grabby little dog anyway. He's my best friend. I see the dog looking at me, and the key is don't look back, don't look back, don't look back, don't grab their face, don't start giving them kisses. <laughs> all I've got to do is laugh, and he's all over me. And if you said, I don't like the kind of training where you laugh, you're not going to like this stuff then. <laughs> you're not going to like this stuff. It's got to be fun. The people are not going to get out there and do it. These aren't police dogs. This isn't a serious job. They've purchased 
or adopted or whatever this animal to be their best friend. If you said, I don't laugh with my best friend, that's all we do. We laugh about everything. Uh, the friends I have, we laugh and laugh. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't know what else to say. And if you said, well, my, none of my friendships involve food. None of your friendships involve food? Every friendship I have, oh, he was laying down. He does have a default down. <laughs> he just can't stand to do it. Every friendship I've had involves food. Every relationship I have involves food. My mother just sent me like a three pound box of toffee for my birthday. If you said, well, I ate it all in like a day and a half. If you said, what am I thinking? I'm thinking, I mean, how big am I gonna be after I ate all this toffee? But I can't stop myself. said in some ways you better temper that no I'm gonna have to temper that too I don't want him going too fast if you said what happens if they go too fast they throw the piggybacker off so in other words the piggybacking behavior gets lost and I could show you if I went too fast and he would say this piggyback thing is a detriment to completing the mission he's gonna drop the keys and get to the platform if you said what's the correction the correction is slow the handler down there's no It's not like I'm saying, oh, you know, I don't even know what pure positive means or whatever, but this is motivational training. The dog's internal dialogue is what's driving it. Not you. Not you telling it what to do. Its internal dialogue is driving it what its behaviors are. You are the puppet master that's controlling the subtext, hence controlling the internal dialogue. If that's too much for people to handle, I don't know what else to say. It's not taking a dog for two weeks and correcting it, and then it's fine. It's not that every dog needs to be taken for two weeks and corrected, and then it's a good dog. That doesn't make any sense. So that's what I'm saying got a lot of piggybacking going on here. Oh, hi, Danny. Hi, Juan. Oh, hi, Victoria. Anyway, this dog originally presented as handler aggressive, and it was biting people in the face. If you said, what did I say? How was their face by its face? Other than people can't stand. Oh, it's so cute. Get in his face. Lisa can tell you. And if you said anybody can handle the dog now, oh, absolutely. I've had every intern handle it, every other thing. It's, it's honestly, it was honestly a little disappointing to me how quickly he would go off with somebody that said, Annie. <laughs> anybody that says, Annie, and hits the pager. Hey, on. So if you said that resolved the aggression, what do you want me to do? Have pe interns come up and say, if he growls at you, boy, you correct him, and boy, you tell him. I already had two of these correction trainers and it's now can be handled by anybody that says Annie. <laughs> anyway all right so let's just do it one more time and I'm making sure the dog is in heightened reality it just it's you can tell by the way it's acting it's I can't wait to do it if you needed to do a dry run of where you were going then do a dry run, and this would be your dry run. Here's your start point. That's not really the best start point. Okay, there's my start point. Here to there. It's important to remember the jump is piggybacking on it too. The jump is piggybacking on going to the river, possibly. He, he won't stay by him. Oliver got in a lot of trouble for attacking Skylar, so he's on a very 
He's on a very thin leash right now. Look at him over there. That's looking up every crumb. You do need that. If you're the type that drops a lot of treats, I know that one guy. I can't think what his name is. He's a good trainer. He's out in Texas. Anyway, he gets real angry if people drop treats because ants get on him and all this shit. All you need to do is get you one of these little vacuum. Get you one of these little Zumbas. That's the thing. He's, he's giving it everything he's got. And I'd say, you know, if you said what happened, the piggybacking, that was going to get left out because it was too fast. He said, you had a bad trajectory. I did. I had a bad trajectory and you didn't have any speed. It was all handler error. Once you understand that everything that's going wrong is what you're doing, it, things are going to go faster. I promise you. If you said, what can you do? Give him a better trajectory. <laughs> There was no place else to go. I blocked him. Is it sticking your knee out? No, I'm not sticking my knee out. I just, the path of least resistance was. Anyway. All right, let me go put him up and I'll be right back.